Uh, no, I've never seen him. Uh, only in pictures, uh, ads, in the paper. That's it. You know, that's a very good question. I hear his name and I see his signs. I've never seen him. I have never seen Clint Kesto. In fact, I've gone to his coffee hours and he has not been there. It should have shown up at the senior center where I go, uh, but from my friends mentioned that he's never shown up there. The last time I saw Clint was two years ago. I haven't seen him since. I think I saw him on television one time, but I've never, never really heard much about him, no. I know he goes to these fancy fundraisers, but he doesn't show up where the ordinary people are. We do want to know what he looks like, and we do want to meet him. One of these days. Well, I think it's rude. Uh, it's very rude to schedule and not show up. You would never do that to anybody. I think it shows a lack of um, how he values his con constituents. I would say as a state representative, he's not very representative of me. He's not very dependable, and he pla if he plans things and then doesn't show up, you know, can we trust him? He's not dependable. Uh, he's not too honest if he uh, plans to go to do something and he fails to do it. He certainly has a lot of time and budget for advertising, but it doesn't really seem like he has a lot of time or budget for his constituents. Why he's not doing his job, why he, he needs to show up and listen to his people. Well, to be more visible, and especially around the seniors. Everybody has to show up for work, and I did when I was working. If I don't go to work, I don't get paid. I wanted to see Clint Testo very, very badly because I wanted to ask him point blank, why did you vote for that appalling rape insurance law? Our roads, education, and women's issues. I think he has a really bad record on women's issues. Why he voted for uh, rape insurance. I don't understand uh, why. What have you really done to help me as a Michigander? You know, what, what have you really done to help us here in Oakland County?